Hey everyone, this is Pake for Life, and in today's P4L Transformers review, we'll be taking an early look at a pre production sample of Unique Toys 005 Hagen, I want to say that's how you pronounce it, uh, their version of the Terracon Cutthroat, and the last member of their Ordin or Terracon team who's going to form their combiner Ordin. So this is a pre-production sample, so let me put out the disclaimer there that this is not a final release and that the figure is likely to go through some minor tweaks or even major tweaks before it get, reaches your hands um, in probably the end of July, early uh, August, depending on you know how shipping works out and which re retailer you have. So without further ado, let's go straight into robot mode review because I don't have any packaging or instructions, so if I mess something up, Give me a little bit, of, little bit of a break, okay? So let's go ahead and get started with a quick 360. And you can see he has a pretty impressive wingspan. And one thing you may have already noticed, or you may not have, but you will shortly, because I'm going to tell you, is that he is a, a slight remold of their Alberic, their version of Ripper Snapper, who makes up the other arm. So he makes up the right arm in the Unique Toys version of um, uh, Abominus. Alright, so that's really it in terms of overall look. I think my opinions on this robot mode is that his head looks a little small and that's due in part to how it needs to transform uh, and where it needs to go for transformation purposes. Um, but the overall look and colors of this character are spot on to me. I love it. I love this purple. This is kind of the purple I was hoping to see with the combined mode. Um, with the chest pieces like that I showed off in the, um, what's his name, Siegfried review. Not this kind of maroon color. Uh, his wings are pretty fantastic. We're, we'll, let's actually go into articulation after I look at the head sculpt real quick. The head sculpt itself is um, pretty plain, but also pretty good. I, I, I like it. It has, um, it's a little bit smaller and thinner, but overall I think it's a really nice representation. I, I think it would have been a little bit nicer to get some more details coming out with maybe some, um, some paint apps on the head itself. But the face is a nice silver color. Eyes are painted red, which I like much better than the dark in color eyes that we saw with their, um, what's the name of it? I keep forgetting, Siegfried. As far as articulation of the head, he does have, sorry about that, it's focusing too much on the lower part of the head. Let me try to scooch up and see if I can get, the, there, there we go, there we go. I need a better tripod, sorry about that everyone. He does have a a ball jointed head as you saw before kind of tight and because of the way it's situated and how they use it later in the other mode is um, able to look really far up like straight up nothing down and it's so tight that you don't get a whole lot of uh, head bobbing going on to left and right all right overall I think it's a pretty good head sculpt though I'm not going to complain too much about it and again, I apologize for the out of focus nature of that section of the review. The other cool parts that we'll talk about in terms of articulation are the wings. So the wings are actually just pegged on to the back here, but you can rotate them there. You have a pin here, so you can bend it there to make it go back. It has a rotating piece here. It has double jointed hinges here, double hinge there, which allow you to fold both directions so that, uh, that they lie flat with each other. His claws are on a mushroom peg so you can rotate them around. And then, then this, place also, this piece also rotates at a pin up here. So quite a bit of articulation. I really like it. Uh, it does give you a lot of flexibility with posing. You can fold them up like this. You can kind of almost fold it up like a cape if you want to do that. It's kind of a cool look, vampiric look. Or you can fold it back like so, and then you can rotate the claws forward if you want. 
a lot of great options. Um, I actually like the the wings that the fact that the wings are pegged on, so that you can um, make use of them in combined mode, which will, which I'll show off in the combined mode video of Orden. The other you know standard articulation we have here is that he has softly ratcheted shoulders, friction joint that goes out pretty far, not 90 degrees, but pretty close, double jointed elbows, one of which at the top is uh, ratcheted. He does have a shoulder or upper bicep swivel. No wrist articulation just like as with um, Ripper Snapper. No articulation there which is a bummer and also n uh, one molded piece for the hand which was the case for all the figures I believe in, um, in this series. So we, I think we've become spoiled with articulated hands but a lot of figures of this size, and this is kind of like, I guess, a Voyager size figure, um, don't have articulated hands. But I would have liked them, at least a, a wrist swivel. That shouldn't have been too hard to implement. Alright, uh, going down to the waist, he has that kind of weird right above the crotch waist swivel. His hips are friction. Get, get a good range of motion though. Going out as well. Nice knees. Uh, he has a swivel at the thigh. He has a small fold out heel if you want to use it. You probably do because he has a little back heavy because of the wings. And then the toe here. And then the ankle, he does have a little tilt. But the way it works is just a pin joint there. And that breaks up the look a bit. But it's nice that he has it. I don't think there's any articulation I missed, but I always seem to miss something, so if I did, just yell at me and I'll apologize and cry myself to sleep for failing you. In any case, that's really it for um, robot mode. Let's go ahead and do a quick size comparison. So with Troll, he is about the same height. I'm going to try to get the legs. Uh, he's a little bit shorter, but by and large about the same height. Uh, again, I do wish his head was a little bigger and that might have solved the problem. Not that Troll's head is particularly big, but that gives you an idea of the scale. Uh, let's go ahead and bring in, since I have him, the pre-production sample of Siegfried. You can see how big he is in comparison to Hagen. And since we have a ton of transformation to go through from robot to alt to alt to combine, from combine all the way back, to Alt and Robot, I'm going to try to be quick as a bunny, okay? So let's go ahead and start off with Robot to Alt Transformation. So to get from uh, Robot to Alt, the first thing you'll do is go ahead and deal with the hands. Just open up these front panels. And as I said, this transformation is going to be very familiar to any of you that have Ripper Snapper, their Alberic, because it's going to be the same, essentially, by and large, with a couple of things slightly different, but by and large, it's going to be the same. Oh, I guess I should have mentioned this articulation on this kind of elbow piece here. Sorry, I knew I missed something. Uh, Alright, so next up, you can uh, go ahead and rotate the arms around, like so. And I forgot to do this, but you can fold out the claw. Once you have that all situated. Alright. Next up, um, I'm going to actually deal with the head first. So you can rotate this up like this. And then the whole head kind of folds in like that. And you need to get this whole panel all the way up like this. And then this piece has tabs on either side that correspond to these tabs here on either side. Just need to get that folded in and tabbed in there. It's kind of it's kind of difficult to do, um, just because you need to get definitely get all the way in there. Sometimes this panel sticks. There we go, like so. Uh, next up, we'll deal with the lower body. So the lower body, the knees work exactly the same as uh, was it Troll and Albrick? I don't know. They work. This the same as most of the figures in the series. You just open this up and rotate this down 
like so, and keeping this black piece and the tab facing forward. That's the important part. Because the way it's jointed, you could you could mess it up by like trying to fold it in like this. That's wrong. Keep this tab facing forward. Go like that. And then you just fold the panel back up. Same thing on this side. Just fold that down and in. Fold that up. Um, with the toes, you just fold that down like so. Fold the heels up if you haven't already done that by accident. You can bring the tail down on this ratcheted, uh, not ratcheted, why am I saying ratchet? These, these pen pieces, these really thin pieces. This is an area that worried me before. Um, it's not particularly hard plastic and it's thin here, which has me concerned, but I haven't had issues with my uh, ripper snapper. And if you're careful, you shouldn't have issues here. All right, next, before we can collapse the upper body, you need to rotate these down. So you have to untap them from the side, rotate them down on these ball point, ball joints. The ball points, what, what the heck is a ball point? And then this pin, this pin piece here, this rotating piece here, you gotta make sure that's rotated all the way down and that'll give you enough room to get that tab into that slot. It's, it's late and this is like my second third video that I'm shooting today so if I'm going kind of crazy or acting kind of funny it's because of that all right so now we have most of the lower body done that allows you to collapse the upper body to sandwich it down okay and then last but not least get this tail down and in here, you need to get this thin piece sandwiched between these two. And you'll actually see some small, small tabs on each side in here. Let me see if I can point it out. Right here, and then right here. And that keeps this um, arm situated and so it doesn't pop out. And then you have these two little holes and two little tabs here that correspond. Plug that in, and there we have, what's his name, Hagen, <laughs> and, oh, sorry, and you can bring out this little back piece of his head. And there we have Hagen in alt mode, and it's a very tallish bird mode, very long, very much like the, a lot of people are saying that about their, um, their Alberic that was really, really long for that kind of monster shark thingy that he was. And since it's the same mold, essentially, I mean, this was just shaped differently and the head was um, a bit different, they handled the head a bit differently. Uh, and there's wings on this one, as opposed to, I think, a f what else they have on, on Ripper Snapper? Um, let me see, I have them pretty close by. Uh, maybe they didn't have anything on the back. Oh, they had this fin on the back. That yeah. So, yeah. But by and large, he's exactly the same. We can take a quick 360. He still has the same articulation with the wings, so I'm not going to go over that. And aside from him being kind of long and having his legs really far down, kind of chickeny looking, uh, he's not a bad alt mode. I don't love it, but I don't hate it either. So that's good. And I still like the transformation. I I I I really like the Albrecht transformation. Uh, just seeing it twice here uh, kind of bums me out. But it is a really good transformation. Pretty unique, um, and it is pro it probably works better with Albrecht than it does with him. But I'm I was surprised that this is how they they incorporated the transformation for Cutthroat. Uh, his because his um, head is sunken in here. You get a new ball joint for the alt mode head and you get a great range of motion so you can do flying poses and you can have them do the upright bird kind of thing get a great range it is open in the back but if you don't like that you can fold that down and you'll you won't have that kind of crest I guess but you can hide that his beak does open he doesn't have any neck articulation here unless you want to break up the transformation same wings, I'm not going to go over that. His 
middle body is the entire block. And that's kind of like the story of their whole line is that um, in their alt modes, they're kind of just solid blocks in the middle, which is kind of unfortunate, actually. His uh, rear legs, hind legs are the same thing as his arms because they are his arms. Soft ratchet there, swivel, knee bend. Uh, he does have his foot. He has a the rear talon here, and he can move forward and back with a little bit, I think, of, on that pin joint. I'm not really sure. I don't know if you can actually move on this pin joint. Mine's really tight, so maybe, maybe you can, maybe you can't. Um, no articulation on the tail. It's pegged in, and there's no segments here. That's kind of bummer, and it's also kind of weird that they have this weird piece sticking up. Uh, I, I, I didn't do terrible amount of research on the old G1 toy to see if it did something like that, or if the cartoon had something like that in the back. I just don't remember that. So if um, it did, and I missed that, and this, and this is accurate, go ahead and yell at me in the uh, comment section below. He does have a couple ports on the back, which I don't know what they're for. Um, maybe, maybe you're supposed to bring these back for alt mode. I mean, you can do it. And I don't, I just, maybe, maybe that does look better. Sorry, I'm trying to, it's the first time I'm doing it. Maybe that does look better to have it more on the back. I don't know. It's up to you. I'm not going to tell you how to pose your figure, but you have options. All right, so that's really it for, um, for all mode. I'm going to go ahead and do combined mode, and we're going to make use of this fist finally that he comes with. I'll have to go into that in a little bit. So, um, for the most part, you're kind of already at, at, um, by and large, his arm mode. A couple of things that you need to do are to uh, expand this. Because you're going to bring the arms back up. Because you're going to need some articulation at the elbow. So bring these back up. There's a tab here and also a tab right there. Let's go ahead and rotate that up. Tab that into place on both sides. And uh, this is where not having instructions um, may come to bite me in the butt. So some, uh, some pictures I saw I think had its, had his Transformation something like this, maybe like this folded up, something like this. I think. Um, again, I apologize for not having the exact transformation down just because I don't have instructions. But go ahead and basically fold up the claw, fold this up if you'd like, cover up the knee joint with that, and these just sit on the side. There's no pegging or anything like that, and then you can fold up the wings as you'd like. Uh, one of the official f photos that they had actually flipped the wings upside down and had the wings pointing upwards. Uh, I mean, whatever you want to do. Honestly, on mine, uh, when I do combined mode, I'm actually take the wings off and give them to Siegfried's body mode so that you can, um, so that you can have wings on the combined mode. Although there's a notch cut out here, I feel like they're just probably has a purpose. Maybe something like this. I don't know. This almost looks like this works, but anyway, I'm just going to do it the way that they showed it in the um, one of the pictures that they had. So let's just rotate this back. Something like this. You're going to want to pull, untab the tail section. Split this. Fold this up and under like so. And then that will allow you to go ahead and bring in the hand and there's tabs on either side and slots on either side near the feet just tab that in like so and last but not least you're going to want to pull on the upper and lower body apart to reveal the combined mode elbow joint which has a swivel at the top of the joint at the bottom of the joint and then ratcheted actual elbow joint 
which I really liked this hidden join. I thought it was I th thought it was pretty cool. And then you can rotate the hand however you'd like. If you want to do it like this, the hand itself is the same that I uh, showed off before. Just obviously the mirror, ball joint, thumb, um, sections, pin sections here and here. So three segments: one, two, three. Yeah, one, two. Yeah, with the ball joint, I guess it's three. And then the fingers are also ball jointed, which allow you to do that kind of cool spread. They look a little stubby though. You can come down, and same thing, they have pin joints, but this one only has one pin on each of the fingers. The back, uh, I think the back also makes it look kind of stubby, and the fact that all the fingers are the same length make it look kind of weird, so when you spread it out, it just makes the middle finger look the shortest as opposed to typically the longest. And this little section here, um, it also makes the fingers look stubbier from the back. Not a huge deal, but something that kind of bothers me. All right. So that's it for uh, combined mode. Let's go ahead and go all the way back as quick as possible. So getting this guy back into alt mode, um, we're gonna go ahead and rotate the elbow joint in like so. And that way you can collapse it, hopefully. You gotta get it kind of perfectly aligned so it sinks in pretty well. Open up the legs, get rid of the hand. Go ahead and bring the tail down. We'll deal with that later. Go ahead and bring the arms down as well. You just need to untab them for now, but you can also tab them in to the sides right now if you'd like. I just do it to get that done with so I'm not bouncing back and forth. But you need to do that so you can collapse the upper body. And that is what lets you get the tail into position between the legs, peg that in to the bottom, rotate the legs to the correct position, and just unfurl them. Oop, make sure to get these kneecap covers out of the way. Then you can bring out the ta rear talon, rear talon, and rotate the, the rest of the foot into place. And then rotate, oops, rotate the wings, however you had the position before, into place. All right. Come on. All right, we'll just do it this way. So there we have them in alt mode. Last but not least, we'll go from alt to robot. All right, so the last part of the transformation is the reverse transformation from all to robot. Let's go ahead and um, let's see what we'll do first. First thing, I guess we'll go ahead and unpeg the tail, break up the legs, and we can just free that up. Then we can um, open the upper body to create room for the shoulders and side of the arms to come in. So just unpeg those from the legs, rotate those all the way up, and make use of that tab. And that tab to slot into the side and form the arms as well. There we go. Go ahead and rotate the arms down and around, I think. Is that right? Yeah, there we go. Open up the forearms. Fold in the rear talons and fold these out like so, simultaneously pulling the claw back and the hand out. It's supposed to work, but sometimes it's tight and you may need to grab onto something. Using my spudger tool, which you guys should be familiar with if you watched most of my reviews. This thing has saved me from a lot of headaches and fingers from bleeding and bruising. Okay, there we go. Uh, we'll deal with the legs, just because people like it when I do the head reveal last. Open up the front panels, rotate the legs back and down. 
keeping this big tab here so that it tabs into the knee. All right, pulling out the toes, using this little nub to pull out the heels, folding up the tail and just tucking it up under, uh, under the back. Then for the upper body, we're gonna pull up. Oops, no, we were supposed to pull up and untab this. This is on the ball joint though, so ball joints tend to pop off fairly frequently. Pull this down, then you have a little tab here and a slot in the bottom of the beak. Just tab that in, push down on that little crest, and then fold this all the way back. Tab incorrectly? I feel like it's not tabbed incorrectly. Come on. Oops, I keep, keep doing that. I apologize, it's not the figure, it's just me. Kinda tired and just trying to force stuff to happen instead of actually taking my time to do it. It's hard to see actually back there as well. Oh, it was tabbed, it just doesn't tab in that deeply. All right, so there we have Hagen back in robot mode so that we can finish off the review. So um, one of the things that um, has been kind of a theme with these guys is that they're pretty light on accessories and uh, that's mostly because I think the weapons are coming with Siegfried and his combined um, weapon form which I showed off in the last review. That's this one and I guess we'll find out which weapon goes to whom. Uh, at that time. But yeah, Hagen really only comes with the hand. Most of the figures only come with some limbs. So they're combiner limbs. So the foot for for Troll and uh, Fenrir. Well, well, I guess Fenrir has his little whip tail things. Uh, but really, those are part of his alt mode. And sort of parts forming. But yeah, so final thoughts on this guy. I do like him. Uh, I think I would have liked him a lot better if I didn't, if he wasn't such an obvious remold. I do still think he's a great figure. The wings are really nice. The way that they handle the alt mode head works out really well too. Gives him a lot of posability. The tail section is a bit kibbly, and that was the case with Alberic as well. But he does have a lot of nice articulation and posability. Uh, I think this figure has better paint apps again than my uh, center twin did, their friend rear. Just because um, I don't see as many issues overall. I had a lot of issues on the silver paint on my claws with my friend rear, which I didn't shoot a re review for yet. I will try to do that soon before the combined mode or immediately after. But yeah, overall, I think he's a solid figure. Plastic quality is still very high overall, with the one exception being this kind of thin joint back here for the tail, which is mostly for the fact that it's super thin. Uh, the head, again, a little small, but kind of forgivable. It's mostly um, similar in size to the other figure, so at least they're all kind of small headed. But yeah, I'm looking forward to actually combining this guy with the rest of the order figures. Again, Abominus has been one of my favorite combiners, top three for sure, since I was a child. So I'm very happy to have it, and I'm, um, I'm looking forward to showing you guys how it all looks in combined mode. All right, so keep an eye out for the last video there, as well as the Fenrir video um, when I get around to it, okay? So if you have any questions, comments, or corrections for me, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share with your friends wherever you'd like to share. On Facebook, on uh, Twitter, on YouTube, on, I don't know, pen, your pen pal, whoever. Just go ahead and give them a link. If you want to keep up to date with all my news and reviews, go ahead and click the subscribe button right around here. And go ahead and like me on Facebook at Pick for Life Reviews. And as always, thanks again for, to Toy Dojo 
and uh, Unique Toys for allowing me to do this pre-production uh, sample review. If you want to add this guy to your collection, go ahead and click on the Toy Dojo link in the description below, and he should be shipping within the next couple weeks to a month, so it should be in your hands w within about a month. All right? All right, well, that's all for today, everyone. Hope you have a good one.